and being kicked by Archie. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm looking a little bit scary right now. I just have foundation and concealer on. I'm actually testing out the Ordinary Foundation. Um, I'm doing that in another video and I think that one will be up before this one. So if you want to see my thoughts on that, I will pop a little card up in the corner and you can watch that review as well. Um, but the rest of my face, I'm going to be doing a first impressions on. So I just popped that foundation on with the ordinary silicone primer and I've just popped a little bit of Tarte shape tape under my eyes so now I need to set I know I know that's my cat Archie come on come say hi come say hi do you guys want to meet him oh just gonna have to unstabilize you guys for a sec Archie, Archie, there he is. He's a talkative little one, so if you hear him talking, don't mind him, he just wants attention. I'm going to set my face with the MUA Transparent Pressed Setting Powder. I'm just gonna make sure under my eyes are not all creasy. And I'm actually going to take a velour puff and use that to set under my eyes. I've never actually tried this, tried doing this, so this will be a new one for us guys too. And hopefully it will stop it from creasing. very finely milled and then for the rest of my face I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush that's a powder on everything's looking very matte it's actually made my skin arms look a little bit airbrushed like you cannot see any of my pores or anything blush brand a highlight uh, the blush that I'm going to be trying today is the Laura Geller Artistry Blush. It's beautiful actually. And I'm just going to swirl all those colours together. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a... I'm not sure if it'll pick up on camera very well. But it's like a beautiful, natural flush of colour. This is actually the Laura Geller brush that came with it as well. I wasn't expecting it to be any good. But it's actually just firm enough, but not too firm, you know. Moving on to bronzer. I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit in Ultra Fair C01. I'm just going to take the bronzer in this and I'm just going to try and contour my face a little bit. Now this is a matte bronzer so... Ooh, there's quite a lot of kickback on that so I'm just going to tap off my brush. So that's bronzer done. I feel like in this light you can't really see very well. Now onto highlight. I'm gonna use the highlight in the same Makeup Revolution palette. Wow, that's beautiful. Can you guys see that glow? And this palette is like three pounds. Now the face is done. 
I am going to move on to brows. The Freedom Duo Brow Powder in the shade Blonde. And this is what it looks like inside. It has um, two different shades of brow powder. You can kind of mix them both together. I really like the colour of this powder, it's not too warm toned. Do you want my attention? Am I not giving you enough attention? And then to set my brows into place, I'm just going to use the brow coat. This smells so chemically. My face and my brows done, I really really like this. So far I'm really liking everything that I'm using, so, so far so good. Eyes. So, going into the eyes I'm going to use the Too Faced Cat Eyes Palette. Um, comes with some absolutely beautiful, beautiful shades. I keep it quite simple today because I'm not, not going anywhere, not doing anything, so don't want to go too glam. Meow, which is this colour just here, and just pop that. Oh wow, that's so dusty. But that is so dusty. I'm just gonna go in with this all over the lid. It's just like a matte cream shadow. Now it doesn't have any crease colours in it. So I'm just gonna go in with this pink shade down here called Kitten, and I'm gonna try popping that through the crease. No, it's not really showing up. Right. Plan B. I'm going to go in with that matte bronzer. And I'm going to use that as my crease shade. That's the thing about makeup. There are no rules. You can put anything wherever you want. I kind of proved that in my last video. I basically used all face products on my eyes to get that pink look that I did and they work really really nicely so it just kind of shows that you don't need all these palettes and all this makeup to make stuff work. Go in with a little bit of Pussycat which is this middle pink purple shade here. I've latched on the Out of half a oh, I was expecting that to be pigmented. Come on, Too Faced. No, normally good was pigment. It's there, barely. Let's do a finger swatch and see. It's there, but it's light and it's kind of powdery. It's not. It's not a very great colour, to be honest. Okay. Um. I'm going to take a little bit of Kitty Glitter, which is this one down here, and just pop that in the inner corners. Even that one. It's pretty, but... Um, and then I'm just going to take Panther, which is down here, and just deepen up. Wow, that is a pigmented black. That's how I want all these shades to be. Come on, Too Faced. And I'm just gonna blend that in. Just to intensify it a little bit more. Mm. I'm not keen on this palette. I knew there'd be something I wouldn't like. I don't even want to put any of that on my lower lash line if I'm being completely honest. But I know that I have to. Mm. No, don't like this at all. I feel like it doesn't really blend very nicely. I spend all day trying to blend this out. Right, now I don't have any new liner. So I used the Miss Sporty Studio Lash 
and I don't actually have any mascara either so I'm gonna use the Rimmel volume shake I'm still not sure what I think about this mascara so it'll be a good test for that as well to be a clump free mascara but it doesn't have like one of those mechanisms in it that kind of gets all the excess mascara off it's literally just you're straight into the mascara so when it comes out it's like really quite clumpy okay so that's mascara on the last thing is lips I'm going to be testing out the Kiko Smooth Temptation lipstick in the colour 02 and it's basically just like a roll-up lipstick like this. So far, I don't like this. It's clinging to every single dry bit on my lips. And I don't really have dry lips that badly at the moment. And I feel like every time you go over the same area, it's just dragging the product around. Almost like it's too creamy. No, I really don't like this. I'm taking this off. I don't like it. Okay, I've taken that lipstick off because it was just horrible. <laughs> Um, so I've just picked up the Collection Lasting Colour lipstick in the shade number 9 China Rose. I haven't tried this one either, so it's this beautiful kind of rose morphe pink. Oh, and this one is super creamy. I really, really like this lipstick. I feel like it doesn't really go with the eye look, but, but that isn't the lipstick's fault. So, just zoom you guys out a little bit. Okay, so, first impressions really really like the setting powder it's so finely milled so feels really really nice on the skin the no regular blush so so nice it looks really natural really glowy this palette really really like it um i'm not sure why it kind of felt a little bit chunky on the face at first when i was trying to blend the bronzer in i'm not sure if it was um the brush that i was using or if it was just the lighting because when i looked at it near the window just then it looked absolutely perfect so i think that was more just user error uh the brow powder really really like that as well the eye palette not a fan of it i mean the look that i've created now that i'm looking at it properly is pretty but i feel like for the price i have so many of the better palettes so much like so many that are cheaper as well eyeliner i know i love mascara mm. Love the Laura Geller blush brush as well that I put my blush on with. So I'm going to check in with you guys throughout the day. Um, maybe at the end of the day, see how everything is staying on my face. See if any of, it, any of it's wearing off. Like I said, it's a really, really hot day here in England today. So it'll be a good test of if it stays on. Um, I am just going to spritz my face with a little bit of Urban um, Decay Setting Spray. I would do that every day anyway. So I don't feel like that's going to change how it's wearing because i would do that every day anyway so i will see you guys later and let's hope this stays on my face bye hey guys so it's the end of the night here i've had this makeup on all day i've had this makeup on now for about 10 and a half 11 hours and i wanted to kind of come and show you guys how it held up if you want to see my thoughts on the foundation and primer i will leave the link to the foundation review down below just a reminder just in case you forgot i've been reviewing the ordinary foundation and the high adherent silicone primer so if you want to watch that i'll pop it in the cards and i'll pop it down below as for the rest of my makeup i i really like the tarte shape the only like the one downside is that everything creases under my eyes on me no matter what i do i put it on and i set it with powder right away even if i bake it no matter what i do everything creases on me so if you guys have any tips any tricks that i can try to stop things from creasing on me i would love to hear them i would love to try them out the powder that i use the mua transparent press setting powder this is so finely milled it just it feels like nothing it's absolutely beautiful i feel like how this is three four pounds i'm gonna have all the prices and everything listed down below but how this is so cheap i have no idea it literally feels like high-end powder to me it's absolutely phenomenal and the package like even down to the packaging like it's just like this beautiful sleek black packaging with the massive mirror it's just 
beautiful, beautiful stuff. The blush, absolutely, I absolutely love this. It is still on my face. It's hung in there through 10 and a half hours. Like I say, it's been boiling today, so I've been sweating, and even though I haven't done very much, it's still gone through quite a lot. The Make a Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. Really, really like this. I feel like, just grab my mirror. The bronzer is still on, but I feel like it's not picking up on camera that well, and this highlight is still absolutely stunning for three pounds 350 like i say i'll have everything down below <sighs> how make a revolution how and how have i not picked this up earlier i swear like i've been missing out so much if there is only one thing that you buy in this whole haul this go out and try this just just go into superdrug and swatch this That's... it's stunning the brow powder i really like it it's stayed on all day it's a good colour, it's ashy, which I need for my brows. And the brow coat has kept it on all day. This is supposed to be waterproof and I mean, I haven't tested that theory out, but I've been sweating and it's been warm and my brows have not moved, which so I'm really impressed with this. The eyeliner, I know that I love. I mean, <laughs> can't argue with that. Now, the mascara. I like it, it's kept a curl all day, it's stayed on, it hasn't flaked even through the hot weather, but I just don't like the mechanism. There's no kind of stopper in there to get the excess mascara off. And I know that I can just rub it against the sides, but and it's a very, very wet formula, so I feel like it's so easy to get it all over your face. So it's kind of like an, I don't really know about this one. Maybe when it dries up a little bit, it'll be better. The lipstick. The collection lipstick didn't last. As soon as I ate something, it completely came off, but it didn't claim to be a long wearing lipstick. It's a beautiful colour, really moisturising, went beautifully on. It did what it said it was going to do, you know? Now, the one thing I really don't like is the Too Faced Cat Eyes palette. I mean, it's on and it looks pretty, kind of, but I feel like... I mean, none of it's creased, but it's just all blended into like one muddy colour. And I mean, that inner corner highlight that I used, which was the kitty glitter colour, that's pretty, but do you want to buy a whole palette just for one pretty shimmer colour? I mean, I will be, I'll try this out again. I'll try and see if I can get it to work, but I wouldn't go out and buy this. So that's all from me today. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, click that red button down below. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family and I'll see you next time.